we're going to be taking a look at making possible to open links in new windows. We're going to see the default capabilities of the link in the formatted text fields. We're going to install the editor advanced link module. We're going to edit the correct text format. We're going to configure to enable just some additional options or all. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and we're going to add a new article for example and if we add a link and click here we see that for link we could just specify the link destination path like for example google.com And if we save and if we open the page and when we click on it, we see that we're leaving our web page, which is not really good. So for example, for external links, we would like to open them into a new window or tab. So in order to do that, we're going to be installing the advanced link module. So we're going to copy this bit from here. We're going to jump to the terminal. So this is a installation with the composer create Drupal project. So we're going to jump to the previous folder and we're going to execute composer require Drupal and then editor advanced link this way we're going to download the module so it's downloading the 1.4 version That's perfect. So when we jump back to the Drupal instance and if we go under extent, we're going to search for advanced link. There it is. Let's go ahead and install it. And in order to enable it for the text format that we just used, let's go ahead and double check the text format that is being used there. So here we're using the text format basic HTML. That means that we're going to now go to configuration and then text formats and editors. And for the basic HTML, the one that we just saw, we're going to click on configure. And in order to enable it, for example, by default, this thing is enabled. So limit allowed HTML tags and correct faulty HTML. That basically means that there is a list of HTML tags here that are allowed inside of the text area here. So in order to enable the open a new window, for example, there are instructions here. We we'll just have to add, for example, the target. So let's go ahead and copy the target. This is basically a attribute. So this means that in the link tag, we're going to add a target. And if we save it, and if we open this article and refresh it again we're going to see that now there is advance and there is open a new window which is exactly what we want so let's go ahead and save it and save and if we open 
and if we click it perfect now Google opens in a new window so but there are also some additional attributes here that we might need for example there is a title or if you want to add a special class to the links we might just add those also as attributes so we just come here again and we add here for example also the title and we could add also the class so we can't add random attributes here but we could just add the attributes that are specified here by the module so the module supports these attributes and we could either enable them or disable them by adding them here in the allowed HTML tags or if we're not using the limit allowed HTML tags all of them would be enabled so let's now go ahead and save it and if we edit the page again and if we check the link options again we see that now we have a title option here and here we have the CSS classes and the open in new window option. Perfect. So if you like this video, please check the links in the description, subscribe, comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.